welcome back to my channel uh, today's painting I'm gonna be doing this nice little Scottish uh, landscape so it's quite simple quite a nice um, little painting you can see I've already um, done the sketch so I've mapped out where I want to go with the paint and in the sky it's quite dramatic um, I think it's typical for a Scottish sort of sky um, not sure about whereabouts in Scotland this is, but I got the feeling it could be the Highlands. Not sure, um, but it it does have a quite a dramatic grey, cloudy, overcast sort of sky. So I want to capture that. And for the colours, I'm using Payne's grey, and then a little bit of French ultramarine as well, in parts. So I want all this colour to sort of merge together, and um, I didn't wet the paper all over the sky so I want some parts of the sky with some sort of highlights and where I want to um, want to exaggerate those highlights I will be using some tissue just to blow out some of the clouds so I hope you I hope you like this one it's quite a nice scene if you keep watching then you'll see all the different techniques that I, I do in this one um, I as you can see I have sped up the sped up the process just a little bit um so i don't want it to be too long but i want you to, i want you to see the whole sort of painting process so i have edited just a little bit um so i've sped up just so that you can see um what i do with the paints and as you can see i'm using quite a large medium sort of large brush and this is a mop brush which i do like to use and this is the pan the pan set that I'm using. The palette is uh, Winsor & Newton, all professional grade. And um, I'm starting with the yellow ochre. I'm just going to mix a puddle of that already in the sort of yellows that I've had on there before. And then a bit of burnt sienna and raw sienna as well. Just to give me that nice warm sort of stone colour for the buildings. So I don't want my paint too thick at this point, sort of a nice light wash just to cover the whole of the buildings. If you do know where this scene is then please leave it in the comment section let me know where it is and I think I've actually painted this scene before but I'm not too sure
I don't know why, but cad orange or an orange always looks nice in in the grass. So it always looks nice with green. Um, so I always like to add a little uh, touch of cad yellow or some sort of orange in my foreground. Always looks nice. Um, then just using my liner brush just to flick out some of the grasses. I don't know about you, but I really do enjoy painting these sort of scenes. Um, if you've noticed, I like to use the same colour from the buildings to the rocks and try and use the same colour throughout the uh, painting. It just unifies the scene in some way and um, just stops it being, um, well, complicated for a start to mix all those different colours. And it just has a nice sort of look about it. And especially in this sort of scene, uh, I tend to think that the the buildings are made out of the sort of surrounding rocks as well. So it just, it really does make a nice, um, it just gives a nice flow to the scene. So I'm just removing the masking tape here. Uh, so just be aware when you're taking the masking tape off, if you take it off away from the paint, so it saves ripping the surface of the paper damaging the painting itself and then as always I like to add 
a few birds to the scene just to give it some life um but that's pretty much it um i hope you like this one thanks ever so much for watching and uh i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye